1320 fans, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to TX2K24. This is our day three coverage here at TX2K. It is Friday and that means it is roll race eliminations and there's a lot of fast cars in the lanes, including number one qualifier, Ricky Bobby, aka Terrence in the lanes right here. Now, what we got going is it's kind of cold out. There's some weather here and there. They're trying to get the track dry and once they do that, we're going to get to racing here in a little bit. We're gonna see some fast times. It's, uh, I think the wind chill is 59 degrees, so it's in the 60s, it's really windy, it's really cold, uh, which means good boost weather. So we'll see what these guys can do. Number one qualifier right now, like I said, is uh, the Ricky Bobby GTR from T1, and that did 236. So if they turn it up, they could go a little quicker if they need to. Uh, we'll see what happens round one. Very well. Uh, what's the game plan today? Go out here and see, put down some numbers and just stay with them, stay paced. Okay, I know you guys like to go really fast in qualifying. Did you turn it down a little bit just to Oh, yeah, yeah, it? yeah. We're going to, yeah, we turned it down probably the same thing we qualified with and stuff like that. So 225 ish, something yeah, like that. Something like that. Just depends on where we start at. I mean, if we start early, it could go 230 pretty Now, who do you have? Who's number eight? Uh, I believe it's game? Joe Martinez. Okay, I'm not yep. sure. Which I, I, I'm what not sure either. I think it's a 316 speed uh, oh, R8. Oh, car. Okay, gotcha. I gotcha. think so. All right, Terrence. Well, yes, good sir. luck to you. Go fast. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, buddy. All right, guys. Some fun stats about the roll racing cars before we get going. Uh, before this year, the most cars that had ever qualified above 200 miles an hour was six. This year, we have 20 seven which is ridiculous also the bump spot the mile per hour you had to go to even make it into a class four today was 189 miles an hour so all the cars here qualified at least 189 and 26 of them 27 of them did over 200 so like the first two classes elite eight and then i think unlimited all of them over 200 it's going to be a crazy day crazy fast cars we're going to see a lot of 200 pluses all right guys kicking off roll racing for eliminations today the first pair of the day is the only mustang on the entire property for roll racing and a portion let's see what they got for the Mustang. They both got a little squirrely. The Mustang collected it, got back in at 186, moving on for the second round. fastest it's who crosses the line first so left lane will be taking that one. Ooh, we got is that Ent moto built twin turbo viper versus a ams uh, r8 over here If you guys are new to this TX2K style of roll racing, basically they get a rolling start next to each other between 60 and 65 miles an hour. They have to be in that window and then they go at the line. So they should be matched up somewhere between 60 and 65. And then when they go, it should be even. If it's not, they got to come back around and do a rerun. That's how that all works. 
also you can't break out of your class. So the number one qualifier, let's say it's 220. It's not, but let's say it's 220. You can't go more than 225 in actual racing. So that, that prevents sandbagging and all that stuff. So that's what we're looking at. for that matte black R8, that thing was moving. Limited and the Elite Eight, all of those cars, every last one of them qualified over 200 miles an hour. So I think we're done with Sport. Should be moving over to Super Sport, and I think there's a handful of cars trickled in there that did 200, so we should see some good passes out of those guys right now. And also, I said this yesterday, if you guys weren't here for yesterday's video, it is insane the kind of cars that have come out have just, over the years, it's kind of transitioned from like GT, a bunch of GTRs to GTRs and V10 cars, and now that's pretty much all we see. A bunch of V10 cars, which Audi R8s, uh, Lambos, Vipers as well, they have V10s, and then uh, GTRs, a couple Porsches. Like I said, there's one Mustang on the entire property for this, and that's a street car race in America. And there's one Mustang, it just feels so weird. But it's just like the, the caliber of car is so, so high for roll racing. Just mile per hour, everybody's got a DCT in their stuff. It's, it's, it's crazy. And then the Vipers when they roll up, I don't know if you've ever been in person to like one of these twin turbo Vipers. They have this deep rumble that's so good. And they get out pretty good. So the chances of getting murdered by a track blower are low, but they're not nothing. quality content. You got a ghost over there? Casper the ghost working the Look, working the blower? Look, we can get. <laughs> All right, I believe this is the first pair of Super Sport coming at you right now. Porsche with its bumper off. It looks pretty rowdy. in the lanes we have this Calvo Motorsports Viper versus that twin turbo R8 and both of these cars since they're in the limited guaranteed they qualified over 200 miles an hour let's, so let's see which one's faster all right so you were up here for quite a few of the qualifiers yesterday what was your best one what'd you have yesterday 205 205 yeah you turn it up a little more for today or are you gonna go up there with about the same power no we turn it up turn it up turn it what down. are you hoping for no break down <laughs> all right buddy good luck to you thank you bro we're going to 
trying to talk to this Supra over here. The other day he did 206, which is insane. He said that's not even all of it. They had like 15 more pounds after that. It makes like 2,600 horsepower. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. All right, so 206 is what you qualified with. Yep. Are you gonna keep the power level there? Are you turn Same, yeah, same fine. exact? Yeah. Where did you end up qualifying in your class? Are you like number two uh, or? Three. Three, okay, yeah. that's a good place to yeah. be. Yeah. What's number one qualifier? Uh, 208. So you can't go faster than 213? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's why we kept it the same. Just up the night just a little bit on any leg. Gotcha. Hopefully Do you know who you got first round? Uh, Alexander Rodriguez. Gotcha. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. This Super might be my favorite car doing rolls right now. I talked to him yesterday. He makes 2,600 horsepower on kill. Not sure how much power he's making on this pass, but he did 206 yesterday with like 15 or 20 pounds left of boost to run. So we'll see what he can do here. Maybe a 200 plus. Basically, whatever he needs to do to beat the R8, that's what he's going to do. If it needs 200, he'll do that. Whatever the Super put in it, a uh, little too much, got a little too squirrely, got out of it. The other car did 208 though. Damn, Unlimited's coming out swinging. All right, you guys know him, you guys love him. We got Miles Burr in the Gringo Tegra coming up next. He might have a buy run here. I don't see anybody pulling up with him. <laughs> For miles, not a bad pass. And also, it's kind of lucky duck there. You got a buy on the first pass, so there you go. And we got this is the first pair from a limited coming back up here to get a rerun in. up Elite Eight, but uh, there's a big storm, a lot of rain about to hit, apparently, and they just came back and said, go home, it's about to rain a lot, so we're gonna rain, it's gonna rain here a little bit, hopefully it dries out quickly-ish, and we can get back to racing here in a little bit, but that's the situation right now. Taking some racing action, we've got some. You got it running, oh my god. You brought more snacks from Canada? Yeah, if you were here yesterday, it wouldn't have been running. Yeah, did so you we, claim these when you came through the border? Nobody claimed them. <laughs> we're eating them, they were personal snacks. So you have a brand new motor in this car, Brand right? new Thompson Motorsport 383. Yesterday we found out there was a bunch of carnage to my motor, lost oil pressure. So obviously a great group of people here. Yeah. Yanked the motor out, no new shit. motors in. We're just waiting for our next qualifier bass. Okay. The combination that was in there was a 5.3 stock crank, piston rod combo, and we pushed that thing like 1,300 wheel horsepower for a long time. Uh, the new one is a forge crank, so we should be able to go a little bit faster, theoretically. Some little upgrades. Little upgrade. And, like, we're down here anyways. I would have to replace the motor anyways. And you came to Dallas just for a new motor. Yeah. And showed us that on the motorsport because they were, like, perfect and awesome. So You pop the hood real quick? Yeah. Oh, dang. I like all the blue. Yeah. The blue and orange combo. Sweet. <laughs> Fancy. That's Fancy <laughs> built hood prop. Yeah. Costco. Yeah, so so you've been at 830 now, is that your quickest? Uh, my fastest ever was 814. Okay, so you're really close. And we're really close, yeah. Like, if it didn't blow up in that last pass, it would have been a seven second pass. But it was fighting, tearing up the bearings. and Yeah. yeah. We'll feel this rain gets out of here and we get some good weather and some good DA. Yeah, I feel like they're not testing again today, drag racing, so we'll be back up tomorrow. I'd like to make one or two passes on like lower-ish boosts, see the rings, make sure everything's yeah. okay before we make a stab at it. Okay. Big boy turbo. Yeah. All right. See that first seven by the end of the weekend. Good luck, Kyle. It's going to happen. <laughs>
Our friend coming, our friend Kyle coming all the way down here from Canada just to blow up his engine here, but got a new one swapped in here. Hoping for a seven sometime this weekend before he heads back up north of the border. We are back to racing. We got Elite Eight in the lanes right here. The fastest eight cars on the property that qualified a couple days ago. Fred talked to Terrence earlier in this video at the beginning about his strategy to stay on top and remain the king here at TX2K. We'll see if that works out. We got some killer lineups. I think the slowest car in this class is like 211 miles an hour or something like that. So we're gonna see some badass side-by-side -side racing of the top eight cars right now. All right, we got one unlimited redo before we go into second round elimination between these two cars. dancing there in the right lane he's gonna get across the finish left lane running 10 mile an hour faster but right lane got there first it's not about mile an hour it's whoever gets the finish line just like Greg racing was a 210 mile an hour pass. Who's really racing? Who are you racing? Uh, Christine. Oh, you're racing Christine? Uh, you got the T1 car over here, the white one? Yeah. Uh, she right did 214, you did 218, I think? Yeah, so I think it's Okay, you gotta turn it up a little bit? A little. A little bit, <laughs> just enough. Winning to do? You gotta, be, you gotta be on your A game. She's, she's a tough racer. You got the power to do it. It's going to be a good race. Going to be a very good race. First pair up here in Elite Eight, we got our friend Christine and our friend Rolly going at it. 214 miles an hour to 218 miles an hour. It's going to be a really good matchup here. Four for the left, the Lamborghini, 223 for Christine in the right. 224 to 223, both those cars turned up. Broly in the Lambo, taking home the win. Holy crap, how close was that? The heart is out of me. Yeah. Did you start a little behind and then have to catch up? Yeah, a little bit. How close was it the finish, can you tell? I don't saw her. You never saw her? That's why I never that's saw her because only I'm, <laughs> I, I only focus in front because... It happened so fast. Wow. <laughs> mile an hour wise, it was super close. I don't know how it was at the finish. What did she, what did she run? Mile an hour. Uh, it was like 221 to 223, I think. Yeah, I think we were 224, I saw. Maybe the other way around, yeah. It was we just one or two. 24. <laughs> yeah. What'd you call, you call it? 214, 218, now 224? Yeah. Damn. Got some more power? We always do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. These cars are insane if now. We, if we make it, and we have to race Billy. That is not going to be easy. Oh it's no! Very difficult. Oh no! And it's not just mile an hour. It's like oh, the acceleration so rate throughout the track is totally different. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to dig deep to make that happen. But uh, <laughs> you never know. This is racing. Anything can happen. So. Do you know who you're? Driver on the, on the Do you know who you're racing yet? No, uh, not yet. No, between Billy or. The Viper? No, it's a bummer. I think the Viper or an hour are in. Okay, all right. Cool. We'll Good luck in the semi. I appreciate it, bro. Last year's king, we got Terrence and Billy's car from T1. Going up against the R8, first pair matchup, first first last. Which really isn't that much mile an hour separating them.
seven for the left, two ten for the right. Oh, this is gonna be a good race here. We got Kratos in the gray Viper. Great STO underground racing coming up. The Viper's put down a higher mile an hour, but I'm sure the underground racing guys have more power than that car. They do like turn ups as they go through elimination rounds. Let's see if they can make it through the first one. Twenty-one in Kratos and that Viper is skating left and right and left and right, but he made it there first, had the balls to stay in it, and it paid off for him. We're kicking off round two eliminations with Super Sport with the Mustang and the R8. He seems to be walking fine. Yikes, that's scary. That's, that was There's some drips of oil, some drips of oil right here. That's probably what caused it. Can't tell. Wow, even knocked the tree out on that one, but luckily the cars didn't make contact. Both of them getting loose at the same time. I thought the Mustang was gonna get the wall, but then here comes the R8 out of nowhere, and there's drips of oil from the starting line. So probably got some oil underneath the tires and you really can't do anything but just hold on at that point. Holy shit. Yeah, that was close. That was nuts. Dude, I, I don't know what happened. I mean, I did a good burnout and I just, uh, I even, yeah, I happened so quick. Did the right. RA come in front of you or behind you? It was front, in front of me. Holy yeah. shit. Spun, got sideways, and I corrected and then he just shot in front of me. So. Just barely missed him? Yeah. I really. thought you guys hit for sure. No, I, I, I was about to hit the wall. But I know. I, I corrected it enough, so I thought I need to check the rear there panel. There was oil from the starting line, so on the R8. Okay. So it must have gotten underneath the tire. Okay. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah. But now I'm gonna check over everything, everything, make sure everything's good on my car. But uh, man, that was, that oh, was crazy. Oh crap. Yeah. No. no. Hey, he's all right, right? This is a nice service here. The track is going around blowing out people's wheel wells because when it rains, especially torrential downpours like we had here, the, if cars drive around, the rain goes up in the fender liners and you don't get any sun up there. So it kind of might not dry out for hours. When you go down the track, that rain can fall down on the tires, which could potentially have caused the R8's wreck. Who knows? Look at this. This man's got his own shirt with all his cars on it. The only safety purple R8 in the world. Did you see the other one that's over there? It's wrapped? Yeah. I thought it was your car at first. No. So are you in super sport? No, I'm in the slow ass class. What's that called? Sport. Oh, sport. Okay, yeah. so this is sport class. And what did you qualify with? 194. <laughs> it takes 194 miles an hour to get into the slow class here at TX2K this year. I think it was 188 was the cutoff. Yeah. Insane. How much power did it take to do that? Uh, 2,000. 2,000 horsepower in the slow class. Insane. <laughs>
folks. 229 for that GTR 213 for the right lane. 229, our fastest mile an hour for Elite Eight by about five mile an hour. No surprise there. We'll be seeing him back around for semifinal. Round number two for our sport class, the second quickest class in qualifying. Let it go out for a second. That gets, that gets real messy. I think it's good. I don't want to do that whole screw up your whole car. Thank you. Oh, I just noticed this is Jan Bueller's car. Four time champion going for a five feet here. Hopefully, I can give him some time to get it cleaned up, make sure everything's fine, and get the run in. That was scary. Push, push. Yeah. Sorry, man. Hey, shit happens. Oh, fuck. Lucky I'm glad, glad to have it happen here, here than yeah, down there. Yeah, not on the racetrack, because yeah. you'd have, was it fuel probably? Yeah, I think, I think so, a small a little drip. had a lot of fuel pressure. It's probably been yeah. dripping a little bit or something, and, uh, and then during the burnout, the probably wastegate, you know, dump tube or something, ignited it. Push your quality up here in about 15 minutes, push it back. Yeah, no worries, thank, thank you. you. For the left, 205 for the right. That was a good race right there. 194 to a 199. Here comes Miles again. He ran a, I think a 205 in qualifying, and he's been doing 195s ever since. Hopefully, he found that loosely, a little bit more mile an hour. He ran, I think, 195, 196 earlier when I was gone. Six to a 197. Another good close race right there. Real close in mile an hour. Unfortunately, miles not making it on to second, third round. <laughs> I'm not really sure how you say it. Either way you say it, it's above my pay grade, so forgive me. Back to our limited class, we have second round. Second round eliminations for our limited class. for the GTR in the left lane, 201 for the Lambo in the right lane. Thing 
freaking shakes and dances. The GTR was gone. I love watching the background of some of those GTRs as they hit it on the roll race start, just like bam, 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 bam. After another 45 minute cleanup, we're back in action. Hoping these clouds behind me are not rain. So far on the radar, it looks clear. We're gonna cross our fingers and we can get a lot of racing in before it's not gonna happen. for the right lane. like the Viper had some issues on the start in the right lane. That was a really weird, really weird launch there. 212 in the unlimited class. Here we go, moving back into our Elite Eight. We have two pairs left. We have Rolly in the Horsepower Lounge Lambo, and then we have the and we have the Shop Houston GTR going at it. Both really fast cars. Rolly's got a little bit mile an hour on him though. because he was last year's champion, not gonna make it to the semifinals. It's gonna be whoever wins this race going up against the Horsepower Lounge, Blue Lambo, who went 223 or 224 last round. <laughs> GTR in the left, 225 for the Viper on the right. Stewart, what happened to Billy's car? It pushed the, the front crank seal out. Oh, oh. We had like 160 psi oil pressure. So we don't, we don't know if it hurt a piston or not. It, something's not right, it's just pissing oil out of the front. And it also puked out of the catch can in the back. So we're gonna scope it. We were hoping maybe the rain would Yeah, no shit, time, you could fix it. Part of it, man. It's a V6 making 37 horsepower like shit. And the clouds were dry, which is good for the event. Yeah. Bad for getting it fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. That's an expensive build. It is. Yeah, I mean, I would say the car performed great. It did up until that point. No Terrence kidding. Throw the shit out of it, so it happens. Man. Damn. I was so confused. I was like, where the? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's racing. Part yeah. Of it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Dang. What a. What a bad moment for Billy in the T1 car. I really want to see that car make it to the finals and see who lined up next to him. We're gonna have a different final this year. so crazy to see cars finish 10 miles an hour faster than the other lane but get there quicker that's what the start of a roll race really determines the finish pretty much every time and uh, that proves it right there
good race. 197 for the left, 198 for the right. The Mustang hitting a new personal best, 198 mile an hour in the roll race, but not getting there fast enough. It sounded like he had some issues off the start. It just sounded really slow off the start. Left lane getting there first. What an unusual series of events. I think everyone assumed that T1, Billy's car with Terrence driving, would end up in the finals here in the lead eight with the underground racing car next to it. And that just not happening this year. So we're gonna be seeing a different final than whatever we expected here shortly. Get ready for the final of Unlimited. Yes, sir. Hell yeah. You ready? I'm ready. What do you, what's your fastest mile an hour so far? 207. All right. Seems a little low for Unlimited. It, it was. Cool. I did a 213 in practice, but they said I was a sway above the- Just a little too much. Legal, legal but you're here in the, in the lanes for the finals. It's all that counts. That's right, that's right. How much power is this thing putting down? Uh, last I saw was around 2300. Is this a rear wheel drive car? All wheel. Oh, it's all wheel, okay. Do you have a rear-wheel drive car? Uh, STO. Okay, that's the other one. All right. Yeah, a little road race car. Yeah, so 2300 horsepower, T1 car. Nice and simple street car. Yes, sir. A proven T1 car in the finals here at TX2K. He went to the finals last year, too. How do you know tag? Did you, did you, what, how'd you finish last year? I finished in the Elite 8 and second place. That's right, okay. I, I couldn't remember. So he's a class down this year. The mile an hour is just ridiculous here. 2024. What a time to be alive. See how Ricky does in the unlimited class against the GTR here. All right, we got one last rerun for unlimited, then we're going to go into our finals. For that right lane, 207 for the left. Got it done. After two, three reruns, we got it done. Now right, we got one more rerun for Super Sport. These guys have tried a couple times. It's their last chance to get it right. <laughs> race though. Damn, congratulations to the team. Big congrats to that team. Here we go, GTR Lambo for the final in Elite 8. Who's it going to be in the Elite 8 final? Is it going to be rolling in the Lambo? The horsepower Lambo? Lambo or is it going to be the Shop Houston GTR?
Look at this yeah. area, bro. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> well done, man. <laughs> Popping and banging off the line. That was a wild final. I think, did the parachute come out early on that? <clears throat> that was nuts. Rolly taking it home in the horsepower lounge Lambo. Who knew that was going to be the final? But that was a hell of a race in the end. Big round of applause, y'all, for our first place finisher leading. Congrats, Rolly. Thank you. Amazing. Bye. From seven second stick shift passes to 220 mile an hour. Another first place. In What's that? Another first place in Texas yes. today. Yeah. I love Rolly. Everywhere we go, all over the world, he's always smiling. Always smiling. Guarantee it. All right, last rerun chance for our limited class. It's our first pair. be down here with them as one of their teammates wins again. Congrats on the win. Thank you. How did the final go? Because I saw the mile an hour difference. You must have dropped back and then flew well, by Joe on the top. Well, are really good buddies. So beforehand, we were like, I'm like, are you going to break out? You're going to because we both knew we had the power oh. to break out. So I'm like, I'm like, if you go, I'm going to push you. So yep. it was a perfect start. And he was just creeping, creeping, creeping. I was just watching him, watching him, watching him. Like, are you going to breathe? Because I know <laughs> if you keep it floored the whole time, you're going to go 206 plus. So you got to breathe. And I'm going to breathe hard. OK, so he made it there first, but you let off yes, to not break out. Broke out. Dang. So I saw his front end like barely go down because he like 50, you know, kind of 50% right at the yep. end, I think. And I just snatched my foot out of it. I'm like, I'm <laughs> I was wondering how that worked. Yeah, yeah. So nice. I just like on, on it, you know. So he was. You got to have experience was, to be able to figure that one out. Yeah, but I was, I was forcing him. He didn't have a choice, right? Because if he slowed down, I was just going to slow down a little bit more, and then you know, like yep. he didn't have a choice. I was, I was forcing. You got to make some decisions very fast, going 200 miles an hour on the top end of the track. Yeah, well, you know, when, pull that off. Yeah, I've done this a little bit. Yeah, no shit. 15 plus years of it, but there's. I, I was telling even Peter and Joe like roll racing when you do it fair is like the most fun thing in the world. Yeah. Like you're right next to each other. You're like you're exhilarated. You know, you're like, oh man, he's cars yep. just a little bit faster. I wonder if yep. I can have this next gear, if it's going to pull on him a little bit. You know, it's so much fun. And then when you do it like crappy, it's like it sucks so bad. You know? Yeah, fair races are about 60% of the time here, though. That's the tricky part. Right. But it's the most fun thing. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, it, it makes it so much more fun. Oh, yeah. Like, why do you I want, love it. Why do you want to win with all this crap? Uh -huh. You just race next to the guy, you know? So, yeah. Those guys are awesome. So, we do a lot of half miles together. So yeah. It's, it's good times. So, cool. Yeah, that's how that went. How much power did it take to win this class in the R8, approximately? Um, that, Taylor, what do you think? That's 20... Uh -huh. 21, 2200, somewhere in that neighborhood. That was 33 pounds ish of boost um, on 72 millimeters on us. Yeah. 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 It's, it's crazy the mile an hour this year. Yeah. Insane. 207, 100, 150. That, that would have been the Elite Eight probably last year, even, or maybe yeah, two or years two, ago. Eight, like the, what it was, it 188 or 189? Yeah. 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 
that like three or four years ago, we would have been like, no way, right? Yeah, it's great. Well, congrats again. Thank you. Big win it. at TX2K. Thank you. Appreciate it. After a little bit of drama in the rerun in the semifinal, the white R8 decided he doesn't want to rerun. He's going to let the green Lamb the green R8 go on to the semifinal, so it's going to be the Horsepower Lambs GTR against the T1 R8 here in the final in Unlimited. Two for the left. Yay! We finished it! <laughs> that was the longest class in roll racing history at TX2K. There was like, everything was fine until like quarterfinals, semifinals, and there was like nine reruns in that class. Everyone else is fine. Congratulations! Oh, thank you very much. Have you won a TX2K roll race? I have not. It's my first. Oh, fuck yeah. I've been doing this for a long time. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Not the final you wanted to see, but 200, 212? Is that what it was? I think so. And I got out of it and had to get back in it. Fuck. Oh, did <laughs> well, I? Thought this it was got gonna, some power I actually in thought it, it was going to red flag, so I got out and then I was like, crap, green. What was breakout? 13. Okay, so you were close. One mile an hour. Yeah. Good thing you let out for a second. That's right. Well, congrats on a big win. That's amazing. That's a wrap from here at TX2K24. What a weird and unusual day. Usually we have our roll racing done by like 6 o'clock and we get two rounds of drag racing in, but they're finishing it here at 8.30 with our roll racing winners here in the winner's circle. What an incredible day. Lots of badass machines. 188 miles an hour just to get in the roll race here. If you want to come roll race here, you got to build a badass machine to get into the race anymore. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.